Hi and welcome to episode 3 of the Bitwig Basics series. Today we're going to take a look at the clip launcher and the arrangement view of Bitwig Studio. So let's take the tour! And so in Bitwig you have two ways of composing music. You can either work in this linear arrangement view or you can work in the clip launcher. And to open up the clip launcher you can press L on your keyboard. And you can also close the clip launcher by pressing L again. And if you're pressing O on your keyboard, you will open up or close the, the regular arrangement view. And you also have these buttons at the top here to close and open each of these views. Right, so let's first begin by explaining what a clip actually is. It's a snippet of uh, media data. It can be notes, it can be automation, uh, macro changes. It can be a lot of things, but uh, if you're familiar with the uh, pattern sequencers or trackers of yesteryears or maybe you have uh, used the FL Studio before, then you know exactly what a pattern is. And that's a clip pattern. It's basically the same thing. We can go to our first track and maybe go down here to the devices and add Let's search for producer and go to instrument. We select presets and the producer essentials kit one. You can grab the producer essentials pack from my website, which is uh, morningdewmedia.com dash audio minus shop. And here you can grab the producer essentials pack, which is basically a very good starter pack suitable for Bitwig Studio with the presets of 808 basses, pads, leads, plugs, bells, and a lot of other good stuff ready for Bitwig. Now when we have our drum machine loaded up, let's go in here and I double click this clip, the first clip here, in the first slot under the scene. And let's just uh, add some, some hi-hats, some closed hi-hat here, by just uh, clicking in some, some notes. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see this, this whole clip. Then let's go in and adjust the velocity slightly. And press spacebar. You can see, as I play, press spacebar, it's going to play the arrangement view. But uh, we want to launch this scene, or this clip. We can do that either by pressing the scene, play, or by pressing play on the actual clip. Let's add some more notes in here for a little bit more interesting. Let's add a few more notes here. Yeah. Okay, when we have our clip selected, press the left mouse button on the clip. You can see that we have a little tab up here called clip. If we go in there, we can see a few options for the clip. We can reverse the clip if you want. If you take a look at down here and I press the reverse, And we can also transpose the notes within the clip to go to other sounds. Yeah, let's keep the, the hi-hat. Then you can also attach any of these options to your toolbar if you want to access them faster. You can see that I have this uh, reverse button attached up here. And that's because I have uh, attached it to the top of the toolbar. Okay, so let's play that again and maybe add another clip from another track. We go to track number two and uh, press D to open the devices pane at the bottom of the screen. Let's load that up. And on this second track, we will add another clip with just a kick. And currently it's not playing this, uh, 
this clip, we need to either press this play button or the scene play, which will play all the all the clips within this uh, lane, within the scene. And you can also have different clip lengths for each of these uh, clips if you want. You can hear. So you can have uh, polyrhythms going on, which is uh, very cool. Let's set it back to regular four on the floor kick. What you can also do in the clip launcher is that uh, if you press tab to jump between arrangement and mix view, you can see it if that if we're in arrange view, the tracks will be layout vertically. And if we press tab to go into mix, they will be layout uh, horizontally. So that's uh, two ways of uh, viewing your clip launcher. So what can we do more to these clips? Well, we have a lot of information here in the information lane. You can see the clip start and the length of the clip. You can mute certain clips by pressing M or there's also a shortcut, of course. Pressing Alt and A will mute uh, both the clips and the notes. You can see if we go to the piano roll and select a few notes and press Alt A and the notes will be muted. So that's uh, very convenient to know. We can also adjust the shuffle for specific clips. And to make the shuffle work, you need to go up to play and enable groove. Like so. Then you can also adjust the accents for this uh, specific clip. Cool. Okay, there's a few more things I would like to show with the clip launcher. If we take our third track here, I loaded up a polysynth and created a little patch for chords. And uh, let's record a little phrase here to the track. Let's uh, press this record button on the clip. And to have the pre-roll. And then we press uh, space to quit this recording. Double click on the clip. And now we can see that uh, the clip length is uh, slightly longer than uh, four bars, so we need to adjust this uh, the right side here so that it matches up, so the clip is exactly four bars long. Okay, and uh, we need to press scene to launch this clip too. You can see that it's grayed out, that means that it doesn't, it, uh, it will not start if we press play, it will only start the clips that has uh, the activation activated. Okay, so I've programmed a bass on the fourth track here. We will rename it and call it bass. You can press Command and R to rename a track or just uh, right click and select rename from the menu. And uh, it sounds like this now. Okay, so let's do some programming with this. You can see that we have three different versions, three different clips of the hi-hat here. The first one sounds like this. Second, which is the triplets. And then the third clip is uh, playing on the right instead. With some foot pedal. Yeah, I have a ride over here. So how about that we program some uh, randomization between these clips? If we select a clip, you can see that we have some uh, additional uh, features down here called next action. And if we say that uh, after one bar, you can see if I hold down the mouse here and drag up or down, we can see a 
little text at the bottom of the screen, drag adjust bars, and if we press the second slot, it will say adjust beats. But uh, let's drag this first to one, which means after one bar. After one bar, we will want to play random clip. That means after one bar of this clip, it will start a random clip between the clips that exists in this uh, for this track. And we have three clips here, so that's the programming for the first clip. Then the second clip, it will, after playing one bar, it will play the first clip, which is this first clip. And the same goes for the last one. After one bar, it will play the first clip. Let's play the scene and listen what happens to the hi-hat. Then it goes back to the first one. And the triplets. Let's do the same programming for the for the kick, the kick pattern. It sounds like this. The first one, then we have the second one. A little fill, and then on the third one, we have more of a beat programmed. It looks like this, if you're interested. Let's do the pro same programming for this one. After one bar, do play random, and then we will Go back to play the first, and the same thing with the last one. Go back and play the first bar. You see you have a lot of other options here too, but we will use this. You can experiment and try, try your own versions. Let's uh, start over from scene one and see what happens. Some triplets. actually change this uh, programming slightly after one after two bars play the next and then after this one we will play the next and this one will just uh, continue so let's select zero and it will just continue to play <laughs> And then you can see that it continues to play. If you want to render your clip launching into the arrangement, you uh, just uh, activate the record button and then press space or play. And uh, scenes will start and it will record it to our arrangement view. And now you can see that if we stop the track, it will show the arrangement view in gray. And that's because we're still in a clip launching mode. To go into the arrangement uh, mode, we press this uh, button here with three lanes and a play button. That switch playback to back to arrangement. And now you can see that they are, they look normal. So we can hide our clip launching and just uh, continue working in the arrangement view. Like we would do in normally. Yeah, so what's your favorite way of working? Is it the clip launching or the arrangement view? Please let me know if you have any questions on this video. You can shoot any questions in the comments field below. Please subscribe if you're new and press the bell icon for notifications. Now you can go ahead and watch my next episode 
in the Bitwig series. Thanks and see you in the next video. Bye bye!